Hi friends, I just finished a chest, 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 tries and arms day. Today I thought I would just uh, do a quick review of one of my favorite snacks that I've found so far. I found it from like multiple people sharing them on Instagram and I was like, oh, I have to try it because it's vegan. It's amazing on the macros and it looks freaking delicious. I am reviewing Snacklings. If you guys don't know me, my name is Leah. I am the creator of Dope Well. I make protein cinnamon rolls and bread. Check it out. One day we're going to go reopen from coronavirus and we'll be sharing out to the nation again. You can sign up online to get notified when we reopen. But anyways, oh yeah, the intro. My name is Kia. I'm the creator of Dope Well. And I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. Welcome. So that's bloopers. <laughs> so I wanted to give you guys a quick review on this snack called Snacklins. Um, I believe they started, they, they went on Shark Tank to get funding. I didn't, I don't think I saw that episode, but I did see a couple of people um, share this out on their Instagram feed. I think I saw it from Natalie um, at Fit Vegan Chef. Um, she's amazing on Snacklins. They are a vegan snack brand that makes a sort of like vegan version of a pork rind. They've got four different flavors, barbecue, nacho, miso, ginger, and Chesapeake Bay. I've tried all four of them. Um, I'm just gonna open one bag today because I, I don't wanna waste. Um, but this is the macros on um, the snack lens, particularly with the barbecue. You can see that it's pretty good three grams of fat, 15 grams of carbs, and one gram of protein. And they are really proud of making each of their servings, these, this entire bag, less than 100 calories. I think this one, the nachos, is the one that has the most calories at 90 calories. Three grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, one gram of fat. You can buy these at uh, www.snacklens.com or on Amazon. No. But as always, guys, if you have the opportunity to not buy something on Amazon, I'd say go direct to the site just because they pay. These are businesses that are trying to grow and they pay Amazon fees. Love Amazon, but they pay Amazon fees as well. So let me open this guy up. By the way, I just finished the workout. So if you see me breathing like this, it's just because I finished working out. <laughs> so it comes in all of, all of what I've seen anyways comes in these individual um, serving bags. And if you can see, this is what it looks like. The bags are pretty full compared to like other chip bags where you only get like this much. The snack lens um, are actually pretty thick and fluffy, <laughs> airy, but yet very crunchy. Listen. Can you hear? If you look closely at one of these chips, you can see that they've got uh, spices sprinkled all over each of the pieces. The pieces will vary. Sometimes they'll have more spice on it, sometimes a little bit less, but if you shake up the bag, generally it's really good. The other thing that I like about these snacks, guys, is the ingredients. So all of the snack ones are made with yucca and mushroom. Yucca is a root. This one in particular, the barbecue is made with sunflower oil, spice, onion, sea salt. That is it. So it's very minimal as composed as opposed to the other like snack brands that are actually let me try to find a bag of chips here and just do a comparison of macros really quickly. Disclaimer, when I'm showing you the next bag, that's not a knock on those bags brands. They're in the house for a reason because we love them. Um, but if you look at snack blends at 80 calories, again, for barbecue, three grams of fat, 15 grams of protein, one gram of 15 grams of carbs, one gram of protein. And compare that something to um, tortilla chips from Garden of Eaton, which I love Garden of Eaton, by the way. It's 130 calories at seven grams of fat, 17 grams of carbs, and two grams of protein. And then another one that we love in the house is Terra chips. This is the sweet potato chips. That's 160 calories, 10 grams of fat, 15 grams of carbs and one gram of protein, again, compared to, to snack lens, right? If you think about all of that you're getting here, you're getting a lot. Let me actually put it on a plate so you guys can see the amount. I brought with me one of my favorite plates, Kiss the Cook, because 
on the cupcake. Plate is about the size of my hand. I'm just gonna go ahead, and hopefully I don't <laughs> spill all over the place. Oh boy. <laughs> if you guys can see that. That's actually a pretty good serving. For 80 calories, that is not freaking bad at all. Really seriously, compare it to other chips that you may get. Um, the only thing about this, guys, is it's a little bit on the pricier side. So, so here I'm just on snacklins.com. The reason I also like buying from snacklins.com is because they have more combo options. So if you go to buy now, you can buy an eight pack for $18.99. 12 pack for 28 dollars 24 pack for $54.99, and 48 pack for $9.99. The other thing I like about them, guys, is it's free shipping over $50. So if you do intend to buy Snacklins and you like them, might as well buy over the $50 um, and support them directly versus just going to Amazon. But do I think it's worth the value? Um, yeah, that's why I buy it. <laughs> I think it's worth the value because one, the ingredients are quality. They don't put crap ingredients in there. It's not fried, which I like. It's vegan. Um, anyways, do I recommend Snacklins? I most certainly do. What's my personal flavor preferences priority? I think it goes nacho, then barbecue, though it's a toss up. And then it goes Ginger miso and Chesapeake Bay. Now, do I think that that's the popular? No, I've heard other people say that they like barbecue the most and people like Chesapeake Bay the most. You know, so my recommendation is might as well try it all. Give it a try. If you don't like it, mm, send it my way. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope that's helpful. I'll put the link to the snack ones below, both the Amazon and direct to make your life easier for you. I hope you enjoy. I hope you guys give them a try. And if you have tried them, What's your favorite flavor? Put it down below. And if you have additional snacks that you think I should be trying, make sure you leave. Put them in the comments below because I like to try new things. Alright guys, that's it. Have a good day. Smile.